Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com, where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. We are going to add bullet points and create lists in Google Docs. So there's several types of bulleted and numbered lists in Google Docs. Yet the simplest and the most common one is the classic bullet points list. And let me show you how to make one. To add a bulleted list, on a document, go to this item on the top toolbar, which basically symbolizes what it is with these bullets and the lines. And just click on it to insert the first bullet point, which is a stock one. To keep adding points, you need to enter something on the line with a first point. And when you are ready to continue, press enter at the end of the line after all text. That's how you add new bullet points. Then, there is an option to add sub-bullet points, which works this way. Right after you have added a new bullet point and the line with it is empty, press tab on a keyboard instead of entering text. And here it is. Then enter something. And you can keep adding new items to the list by pressing enter at the end of each line. Or you can push the bullets even farther to the right by pressing tab on the empty line with a sub-bullet point once again. And if you want to return to adding regular bullet points, hit enter on an empty line with the sub-bullet point. Here we do that twice. There you go. Or you can apply the list formatting to already written text, but the data has to be on a separate lines and it will ignore the punctuation and other things. So, when you have put data like this on different lines, select it all. And then go to the format on a toolbar, down to the bullets and numbering line, and drag the mouse to either numbered or bulleted list. Now select the style of the list. Here it is. And then you can actually transform one list type into another from a bulleted list to a numbered list and backwards without losing the progress. Once again, select the starting point, but this time go to this numbered list item on a toolbar and click on it. Bullet points turned into numbers. And the same concerning the subpoints. To finish editing the list and return to normal text, hit enter on the empty line with the bullet point. Now, concerning customizing the looks of the list, you can change its style right in the middle of the action by clicking on the starting bullet point. It will highlight all the points in the list. Then, you go to the bullet list icon on the toolbar and click on this little down arrow next to it. And select which style to apply. I'm choosing this one. Then, you can change the color of the bullet points all at once or individually. Select them all by clicking on either one of them, or double-click to select a particular one. Then you go to the text color here, on the toolbar, and apply the color you like to all items, or to individual ones. And I'd say the most awesome thing you can do with the look of the list is that Google has a huge library of symbols and emojis and you are allowed to set any symbol as the point on the list. And we do it like this. Select one or multiple points in the list by clicking on them. Right mouse click on any of the selected items. And in this menu, press more bullets. Now this symbol library is just huge. So first, let's choose the category in this second drop down. And I'll select emoji. Here they are and you basically can set any emoji you see as a point in the list like this. And then the other one. And then there's a third drop-down with different groups of emojis, which altogether makes the library size just incredible. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on thegoodax.com following the link below the video like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.